On the eve of this ninth anniversary of 9-11, CBS Early Show Saturday anchor Chris Raggi has an exclusive look this morning at the progress being made on construction at Ground Zero. He's at the World Trade Center site this morning here in New York. Hey, Chris, good morning to you. Uh, Jeff, good morning to you. After years of haggling, red tape, delay after delay, not to mention some significant work that's been going on below ground here at Ground Zero. For the first time, visitors from around the world can see some tangible progress here at Ground Zero as the skyline here in lower Manhattan continues to change. For eight years after 9-11, the hole in the ground that's become known as Ground Zero was also a hole in our nation's psyche. Now, it's pulsing with energy. A lot of progress. Yeah, we're getting there. When we met iron worker superintendent Kevin Murphy a year ago, Tower One was just about three stories high. Now for 175 iron workers hauling steel, it's all about height. Is that what it is, two floors every 10 days? Yeah, so we're flying. Cement has been poured up to the 28th floor, and steel beams now reach the 36th floor, 33 floors higher than a year ago. In the distance, you can see World Trade Center 4 is starting to take shape. And then right below me here, you can see the original footprints of the Twin Towers for the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. On the Memorial Plaza, the first 16 of over 400 trees have been planted next to what will be America's largest man-made waterfalls, tracing the outline of the fallen Twin Towers. There are no visible signs of progress yet at the planned transportation hub and at Towers 2 and 3, but that's not the case at Tower 4. Last year, construction had reached ground level. Now steel beams are six stories high and climbing a floor a week. The time is finally here when it's safe to say all projects are on the way and um, are progressing well. Within another year or so, you'll see all the projects above ground. And on this ninth anniversary, there will still be plenty of noise surrounding this mosque controversy. But tomorrow, the real focus shifts back to where it really belongs, here at Ground Zero. And of course, with the memories of those lost on 9-11. Jeff? All right, Chris Raggi this morning. Chris, thank you very much.